Creatine. Good old creatine. Is it a waste of money? Does it work? Well, the good news is creatine is one of the most tried, tested research supplements out there when it comes to increasing your high energy output. And there's, I believe there's over 500 peer review research papers that back this up. It is, it is seriously one of the most uh, researched sports supplements out there. It's on the same level as whey protein. They're, they're two absolute essentials. If you're not using creatine, I highly recommend you look into adding it into your arsenal when it comes to different supplements that you might be using. Creatine's a phenomenal supplement. It does allow you to potentially increase your high energy output. So high energy output, we're thinking resistance training, we're thinking uh, sprints, we're thinking anything explosive plyometrics uh you might be someone who's into combat sports creatine is absolutely fantastic when it comes to that high energy output high energy generation output and one of the reasons is because it allows you to have a greater pool of energy to work with it helps you to replenish your energy stores so that you can produce more atp atp is the energy currency in the body and atp we can run out of it very, very quickly. If we would, if I was to say to you, run in a straight line as fast as you can for 10 seconds. You could keep up your top speed for about that 10 second mark and then you'd start to see your performance go downhill. And in part, it's because you start to run out of ATP, adenosine triphosphate. It's the energy currency of the body. Creatine supplementation helps to replenish those ATP stores so that you have more ATP uh, and you're able to replenish those stores a lot quicker. So in between sets, um, in between the work periods, you get more energy back and that means you can keep up that high level energy output for a longer period of time. Another benefit with creatine is that it causes you to store more water in the muscle cells. That in itself is thought to be potentially anabolic. So it's thought that you can increase your lean muscle mass further uh, by having uh, more cell volumization when it comes to the muscle cells. It also allows you to potentially uh, contract those muscle cells with greater force. So creatine, it's a fantastic supplement. It really is going to help you with your overall athletic performance when it comes for those uh, really high energy, explosive training sessions that you have. So how do you go about using creatine if you've never used it before? Well, look, there's lots of different types of creatine, but the 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 form of creatine that has been the most researched and it is the it is the uh, most cost effective is creatine monohydrate. When you look at other forms of creatine, like your creatine hydrochloride, just as an example, um, very, very expensive, and it doesn't offer any benefit over creatine monohydrate. Creatine monohydrate is readily available most supplement stores online sell creatine monohydrate. Now, there's a couple of ways to take creatine. The the first thing you got to understand with creatine is it works best when you uh, it works best when your muscle saturation point is at its peak. It's at its highest. So you don't just take creatine once and then you get great effects straight away. You can either use a loading protocol when it comes to creatine or you can run the one dose just consistently. If you use a loading protocol and often a loading protocol, you might see uh, 20 grams of creatine every day for a week. Now you don't want to take the 20 grams of creatine in the one hit. It will cause digestive issues. It will cause some digestive upset. So you would want to break that down into say four or five gram doses of creatine per day for seven days and that will help you to reach your muscle saturation point very quickly uh, some people can't be bothered doing that they're like oh, i can't be bothered doing it four times a day maybe they have some digestive issues from attempting to load like that and so you can just have creatine at five grams a day after a, a one month period whether you load on creatine for 20 grams a day for a week or if you take five grams of creatine every day after one month your muscle saturation point will be the same. It doesn't matter what dosing protocol that you use. So the, the key consideration with creatine is you want to take it consistently and you've got to remember that it takes a while for it to build up for that muscle saturation point. Also, when you if you do stop creatine and you don't have to stop creatine, you can stay on it continuously. But if you do stop creatine, those creatine levels aren't just going to naturally drop down and return to uh, what they were before you started with your creatine supplement. They will also slowly come back down. 
There's some interesting uh, research coming out about creatine in terms of improving your cognitive function, uh, protecting your brain. So creatine really is one of those supplements that just has so many benefits. Again, it's uh, cost effective, it's cheap, it's readily available, very well researched, and it gives you some genuine results in the gym. You should notice, that if I just speak for myself, when I am running creatine, probably over a couple of weeks, because I don't load on creatine, I just like to take five grams a day, when I start taking creatine, uh, I generally find that I put on about a kilo of body weight over two weeks, and that is from that intracellular fluid retention. After about a month, I do find that I have uh, that little bit extra capacity to push those really difficult sets in the gym and maybe get an extra rep or two out. I do find that I'm very, very strong and I recover very, very well. So, you know, creatine, monohydrate, if you're not taking it, I highly recommend. There's no downside to it. There really isn't, except for the fact that you might have some digestive issues when it comes to the loading protocol, if that's what you choose to do. So creatine monohydrate, it's up there with whey protein, tried, tested, and uh, you're missing out if you're not running it. All right, if you're liking these videos, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll chat to you.